What's going on, YouTube? Kevin here, Captain Hook Fishing. This is my very first ever live stream on YouTube. Um, today is da -da -da, Monster Bass Unboxing. This is the National Box. I usually get the uh, Southern Edition box, but they came out with a National Box also. And uh, so I try to switch things up a little bit. I'm going to open up the National Box and see what we got in it. But just came in the mail. Kind of excited. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. I am. My wife is going right now to a uh, wedding shower for uh, my best buddy's daughter. And it was a uh, female only, which is fine with me. It means I get to come home and look through my box here. A little windy today and hot. Didn't go fishing this afternoon, but we're going to try to go next week sometime. It's supposed to cool off around. Chattanooga area in the next few days or so, about next week. But anyway, we're going to jump right in. Show us your bass. Social media, snap a picture, share on social media, and win prizes. You can share at uh, hashtag the better box, hashtag monster bass, and enter for weekly prizes. First off, again, this is the national box. We are going to. The Filthy Crew podcast went to fish at Camp Jordan and got completely skunked. Yeah, I got skunked the last few times I've gone there myself. It's just, uh, I don't know. You know, they've got the new aeration system in, and I think that's really going to help things out. But uh, I went yesterday, matter of fact, on the day before, and uh, just didn't have any luck whatsoever. Uh, I think it's a little too hot, maybe. Let's see. First thing we've got, Monster Bass sticker. I've already got one or two on my boat, so we'll do something else with this one. I put it on my bass stash uh, tackle tray. Let's see. We have Chug and Spook Jr. by Hedden. Again, all name brand stuff. This is the three and a half inch, one half ounce Chug and Spook Jr. Cool lure. I would like that. What else we got? We got another. Oh, here's a classic. If I ever saw a classic. Hula Popper. That is a number one go-to topwater lure around here. This is, what size is this one? Three-eighths ounce Hula Popper. I actually found one of these in my grandfather's tackle box. And the rubber skirt was dry rotted and stuck to the end of the, or to the bottom of the tackle box. But, uh. They've been around for a long time. They get results. Number three in the national box again. We have a Bagley. Turn that that way. Bango Lure 4. Uh, let's see. Medium tackle. Fish tight to log stumps, weed beds, cast let it set, twitch. Set again and retrieve. On the retrieve, it dives up to two feet, often prompting surface strikes as pulling in for another cast. Another excellent lure. Uh, I, you know, I've been with Lucky Tackle Box, with Mr. Tackle Box, uh, Monster Bass Box, in my opinion, and I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, hands down, the better box. We have uh, soft plastics. We have Excite Bait. These are the Raptor Tail Juniors. I'm going to open these up take a look at these. I don't think I've ever seen these before. Let's see. Yeah, uh, Filthy Crew. I went up to uh, Booker T last week. I went to Harrison Bay last week. I uh, went up to Soddy Lake and fished off the pier up there. Didn't have any luck anywhere. It's just it's just entirely too hot right now. That's a good-looking craw. Good-looking creature bait. Got that. Good smell to it too. This is exciting bait. And I think we got one or two more items in here. Again, the uh, Southern Box usually comes with uh, about 10 to 12 lures. This is the National Box. It's a little cheaper. It's $25 instead of $35. Um, so, of course, it's going to have less stuff in it. But uh, we've got some Mustad 4 aught hooks, three piece. Never can go wrong with some mustad hooks. And finally, we have the uh, Doomsday Tackle Company. I got some of these a year or two back. Uh, drop shot, shad-looking deals. 
those ought to be prime right now. Hopefully uh, around the docks and things like that. But uh, ever done sufficient at Oakway Dam? No, I have not. Uh, my buddy Catfish and Chris and uh, Creek Fishing Adventures, they fish up that way a lot. Uh, I'm supposed to go up there with uh, Catfish and Chris the next, hopefully about the next week or so. I hope I can get hooked up with him and uh, maybe get up that way. I got some new catfish gear that I need to try out up there. Uh, Chester Cross Park is my good. I haven't been to Chester Cross. I live in uh, I live in Ringgold. I'm about a mile and a half, two miles from Bass Pro Shop, but uh, it's uh, a long drive to Chester Cross from where I live. Of course, you're in Cleveland too, so it's a long drive for you too. But uh, I may have to try it out. I've got a, a buddy of mine that she is a uh, uh, park ranger up there, so maybe she, she can put me on some fishing spots up that way. But uh, yeah, plan on getting up that way, uh, up in Polk County, around Okoy, for Chris, next couple weeks or so. Uh, I did have that trip to uh, Raccoon Mountain. That was that was a that was a night to remember right there. A big 16 pounder about 3:30 in the morning. Uh, it's the only fish I caught besides the little bluegill that I actually use for uh, live bait. But uh, anyway, monster bass box can't beat it. Um, you know, you can sign up for the national box like this one. You're not going to get as much stuff in it, or you can sign up for the bigger uh, regional boxes for each region of the United States, and uh, you'll get quite a few more items in it. But I uh, hope everybody's having a great weekend. Just a short little video. I want to unbox my box here real quick. Check us out on Facebook. I've got a Facebook page for Captain Hooked. It's Captain Hooked, H-O-O-K-D, K apostrophe D, fishing, and it's on Facebook. Holler at me, like it, share it, all that good stuff. Um, Chester Frost is a very nice, clean place. I've got my biggest bass there. My granddad caught a 15-inch crappie. Wow, 15-inch crappie. I, I, last year, I caught 6-inch crappies, 7-inch crappies. I didn't, didn't have much luck with the crappie last year or this year, but hopefully that'll change. Um, I talked to uh, Kim over at Jack's Bait and Tackle, my go-to place for Bait and Tackle in Chattanooga, and uh, she said that the crappie were starting to bite. She was getting a lot of reports on some good crappie bites right now. But uh, anyway, like I said, just a small video here. Uh, again, check us out on Facebook at Captain Hooked Fishing. That's H-O-O-K apostrophe D. And uh, like the page and uh, follow it. I'm, I'm in the process of getting it up and running right now. I've got a lot of videos on there. I'm going to start putting pictures on there, uh, some product reviews, things like that. But check that out. Filthy crew, holler at me sometime, buddy. we got to get together and go, some, go do some fishing. Um, Holler at me on Facebook or send me a message through YouTube and we'll try to get hooked up sometime and go catch some fish. Or at least just stand on the bank and look good. Anyway, appreciate each and every one of you out there. As always, enjoy your week. Enjoy your weekend. Take a kid fishing. <laughs>